Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. My name is Mez and today I'm going to be showing you guys my basic editing and filming kind of setup. Um, I'll just be going very, very basic run over. I will not be going into detail. However, if you guys would like to see an in detail tutorial on specific things like how I made my intro, how I add sound into my um, videos, all that fun stuff, what microphone I use, what equipment I use, then I will definitely do that, but I would have to see it in the comments suggested. So if you do want a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial on some of the things that I'm talking about, please comment down below and I will try my best to make it as soon as possible. So first and foremost, I use OBS to record. Obviously I'm recording right now, but I use OBS to record my gameplay and then I use my external microphone that I just got for Christmas to record my audio, obviously. And so, yeah, this is just kind of what I use. I have a gameplay screen. And then OBS is more known for, for streaming and more so for live streams. Not so much for recording, but I do use OBS for recording just because it's a little bit easier, simpler setup, that sort of stuff. So... I can go, I don't want to go into my settings because it might have some personal things, <laughs> but um, that's what I used to record. Lately, I've been using Final Cut Pro to edit my videos, but I have only been using it because I'm using the free trial for 90 days. I know I'm just, I'm very poor, so I can't buy the actual Final Cut Pro subscription, but I am using it for right now to edit, which I absolutely adore, so hopefully... When I work for my trainer again a couple of times, I'll be able to afford the actual subscription. But for right now, this 90 day thing is just going to have to remain 90 days. And then, of course, I record Star Stable. <laughs> I think that's pretty obvious. I record Star Stable video, so I have Star Stable. Um, as far as equipment goes, I just have a Mac, which is why I can use iMovie and Final Cut Pro. I have a Mac, like this is the iMac. I don't have a MacBook. I don't even know if it's available, if Star Stable is available on MacBooks. But so after that, I go ahead and make my thumbnail for the video. And I use an app called Fonto. Now, Fonto is just what I use to make the thumbnails. I don't really do anything else on there. It's just to kind of, you know, make my thumbnails, add text, make it look all colorful and pretty. Um, to make my intro, I used Video Star. I my current intro is completely free. Like it's nothing. You didn't have to pay for any. I didn't have to pay for any effects or anything. So that was completely free and everything. There is a subscription and like packs you can buy on there, but I personally don't use it that much, so I don't really find a need for it. I might use it. Like I might get the subscription one day, but for right now, I'm pretty good. Now to get sound effects, I'll just look them up on YouTube. So normally I will go ahead and search funny sound effects YouTubers use or if I'm looking for a specific sound effect then I will go ahead and search that one but most of the time I go on here, I listen to all the sound effects, I download the actual video and then I'll just chop it up in Final Cut Pro or iMovie so I can use those sound effects later and normally I will save them to a document inside of here that I have in my untitled folder and that's just where I keep all of my sound effects. If I want background music in my video, as you can see, One Hour Lakey Inspired, I use this sometimes if I feel like my video might need it, or if it's a little bit boring in the background, I will add this, and to do this, obviously you don't want to be sitting there screen recording the entire thing, so I'll just open up a new tab, and you have to go YouTube to MP3, then you go here. And then right here is where you would get your, so let's do an example, 50 free sound effects and copy the link. So control C, copy the link or paste the link into the little browser here or the little search bar. It'll start converting the video. Most of the time it only takes like 30 seconds. And then I just click download and then it'll always come with a pop-up. You just want to immediately close that tab. You don't need that. And then it'll just save. So just waiting for it to give me the little pop-up. Here it goes. Save. 
and then I have it right over here for me to use in a YouTube video. And for editing inspiration, I just look at probably like I edited a Barbie episode or those I edited a Peppa Pig episode just because I find those really funny and I love that type of humor. So I try and implement that type of humor into some of my videos. Um, and yeah, I also use this little attachment that you can add to iMac called Stickies. And basically this is where I can just open up a new sticky note. If I have an idea for a YouTube video that I really like, I'll just type it in. So we'll just say, um, what's a good video idea? <laughs> um, GTA in Star Stable. <laughs> I don't know. So then I can go ahead and delete it. So that's just what I use for my video. If I have like a longer idea that might take some fleshing out. I'll do it in the notes of my phone or I'll get my little journal. Normally I just use the stickies though if it's just like a little idea that I wanted to remember. And yeah. We can take my Mist Fall series reaction video for example. This actually wasn't a very heavy editing video for me. It just had some cuts in there. I just had to attach my intro and outro. That was basically it. Um, there was nothing really special about this video, just a couple cuts here and there, and then I added my intro and outro. We can also take my Dear Totalus video, for example. This one had quite a bit more editing than the others, but it still was quite simple. I like to keep my editing a little bit more simple and make sure that it's easy to understand. Nothing super duper advanced, as I'm still pretty new to editing on Final Cut. I'm still learning. And yeah. If I wanted to get into specifics of microphones and headsets, I could definitely link them in the description or you guys can always ask for the specific items that I use in another video, for another video. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, again, nothing super fancy, nothing super technological. These are all self-taught things, YouTube video tutorials, all that fun jazz. So nothing is very, if I can do it, you can do it that sort of thing. It's not hard. So if you were thinking of starting an SSO YouTube channel, this is a great start, I think. Most of the stuff that I have is free, except, I mean, the softwares that I use are all free, and the only things I really paid for were, like, my <laughs> Star Stable subscription and my microphone, but again, microphone isn't necessary. I mean, you might need a Star Stable subscription, but other than that, you can just make your own YouTube videos. Um, I wish you guys luck in making your own YouTube videos. They're very, very fun to do. But yeah, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you really like this video, make sure to share it with a friend. I will see you all next time. Bye!